McDonald. Don't talk to me. Very mature of you. Aye, it actually is. But you wouldn't know anything about that, would ya? What is wrong with you? One decision that I want to make for me, and you can't accept it. It's pathetic. It's selfish. You calling me selfish? Me? You're the one leaving me behind to run off and play silly beggars. You're the one that's gone. You're the one ruining our relationship. Thomas, what are you doing here? <sighs> hey, Edward. I'm just waiting for Percy to get here with Annie and Clarabelle. Percy, please, don't be so rough! Watch my paint work! Can you two stop complaining for once? Girls, calm down, please. But, but, but Thomas! I don't need this, not today. Percy, can you take this train the rest of the way? I'll take you a good train tonight. Uh, yeah. Sure. Oh, what's wrong with him? I don't know, Percy. I need faster and we'll become the new Express. Thomas, how long has it been? Six months today, Edward. Six months without her, it's weird. You never realise how much an engine can mean to you until they leave you. You're preaching to the choir there. I get it, Thomas. That's... Why I told you. Lady! Ah, oh, lady! Where's my train? Listen, Donald, I can't lie to you anymore. Are you dumping me? <laughs> Typical. What? Look, I just wanted to say I'm sorry. What for? I knew about Douglas. He asked me for advice about what to do, and I told him to do what was best for him. What the hell did you do that for? I could lose my brother because of you. The way I see it, you're doing it yourself. Look at you. You're acting like a spoiled child. You just can't control what someone does or where they go. Let your brother live. Oh, thanks for finally owning up to it. You can really tell who your friends are around here. Friends? I'm honoured. With what you're telling me right now, you'd be lucky to be my friend. Hey, Doc. Oh, yeah, Edward, you alright? I am. But Thomas isn't, though. It's the six-month anniversary of Rosie's death, and I think you might need a helping buffer. I'll talk to him. Thanks. <laughs> What sort of engine are you, eh? One that goes behind others' backs? Hey, leave her alone! Oh, James, didn't see it there. Then again, I should have suspected you'd be here. You're always watching her from afar, don't you? Wishing you had what I'd do? Nothing, because that's what you have, Donald. No friends, no brother, just your anger and bitterness. Just like the man who built you. Baronet Stern, wasn't it? You leave him out of this! I'll tell you something about Burnett then, since you brought him up. He was a loner and a drunk and no use to anyone, but at least he knew he was. He didn't pretend to be something that he wasn't. Oh, what are you trying to say? He dies alone, and with the way it's going, you might follow that path. We all have brothers and sisters, members of our fleet that we left behind. If your relationship with him is that strong, it'd survive anything thrown at it. Are you doubting your relationship with Douglas, Donald? Oh, and who are you now? You're the engine's champion now, are ya? Right and wrongs? You should get yourself a cape. Look at you. Telling me what I should think of myself, and you're acting ten times as worse. You're a coward, Donald. A coward, and alone. Ugh, I can't stand here arguing on the toss all day. Listen, James, I'm- Don't. Just don't, lady. Where's my train? Back there. On track three.
Thomas? Uh, Thomas, wait! What is it? I need to know you're okay. I'm fine. No, Thomas, wait! Flatten my funnel. James, what in God's name do you think you're doing? Oh my, Edward, are you okay? My tires are flat. Don't worry, we'll get you repaired and I'm gonna make sure that James is dealt with. Hey, Toby. James. James, how could you be so reckless, so inconsiderate? What, is this about Edward? Silly old prat shouldn't have gotten in the way. Doesn't he know lights of passage? Then why didn't you stop to help? Why did you act like you hadn't got a single care in the world for your fellow engine? Because he got in me way. I shouldn't have to explain why I stopped. You always bang on about being punctual. And helping your fellow engine isn't more important. James, I've just about reached my limit with you recently. Your narcissistic attitude, you smashing up some vans, and now this. Get to your shed. Now! I am worried about him. That engine is just not himself. Give him today. Tomorrow he'll be as right as rain. I just hope he's not out all night, working himself half to death in the dark and in the cold. I've been doing some thinking and... I don't think I need you anymore. <laughs> I need you.